Hey guys, new video here. Uh, is it worth another episode? Today I'd like to talk about this belt right here. Now this is a headhunter. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, misconceptions going on about this item. You know, some people think that it's like the greatest item ever. Uh, a lot of people, you know, don't really like it very much and uh you know there's there's a lot to be said about this item so uh first and foremost uh, i just want to say what the belt is good for and that is mapping if you're bossing uh, you're probably not going to be using a headhunter you know stygian belts other belts are probably going to be uh, quite a bit better because there's just no monsters to steal so it steals the rare monsters affixes um and the rare uh, monsters also can have a nemesis modifier which you can steal as well and it's really important to note that with the headhunter it really is not just the belt itself you kind of need the build and then you also need the maps and you need the juice and i'll make a different video on like how to juice your maps but for this one uh, i'm gonna have video examples shortly after this i won't talk too long here but the header is best for builds that are hitting first of all uh any kind of builds that have physical conversion or physical uh as like physical into le as extra added damage are very good and then of course uh projectile builds because there is a very common um, affix called splitting which adds two uh, two projectiles to your main skill uh, and so you can imagine how good that would be and you can stack that up as many times uh, as you can steal it from the monsters and then another thing is that the um, the headhunter is also good for crit builds because there is a mod called deadly which will make you at 100% base crit without a diamond flask and then if you're going like beyond you know, a thousand you know, double beyond 2,000 crit multi all the time and so that is actually like 20 times more damage realized because your crit is 100% right uh, so it gets pretty crazy there now what is headhunter not good for in mapping and that is dot build so if you play you know blight whale blight uh if you play bane if you play essence strain contagion um if you play soul ren things like this or even um righteous fire is an exception because righteous fire is scaled off the energy shield so low life righteous fire when you scale the life in es is a massive more multiplier but besides um like uh besides righteous fire for things like you know death's oath and any other dots it is actually pretty terrible because there's only one affix if you look on the um, prefix of suffixes that will kind of increase the flat damage and that's just a flat damage multiplier and although it is relatively common and it it, it doesn't stack up enough times and it doesn't multiply the way Way that the other things do so let me give you an example multiplication would be uh like i just said the deadly so if you get 100 percent crit which you will uh with the headhunter in uh beyond or double double beyond maps especially then your crit multi is multiplied in a way that the crit multi is actually that many times more damage like i stated 2000 crit multi would be 20 times uh your damage right and then if you take things like uh fizz as extra which is a which is a pretty common mod it's actually, actually a very common mod because there's two of them that's that's essentially if you start off as fizz then it's like 40 percent more damage right and then once again that more damage gets multiplied by the crit multi so it just gets really intense uh when these things multiply together but with dots because there's only one thing that can stack on top and it's an additive bonus it's not not a multiplicative bonus then it's not that great and with dot builds usually like the thing the, the changes to move speed attack speed or cast speed uh won't really make you do that much more damage right it might be quality of life but it's trust me it's really not that great now enough of me talking about it i'm gonna link uh it, now i'm gonna switch over to the part of the video where i'm gonna show you uh four different maps okay and the first one is going to be a i'm going to run a map with headhunter and it is going to have no beyond and no inspired learning because inspired learning is so important for these builds when you're going full juice in maps um and because inspired learning it takes the monster mod let's say that a monster has three affixes right it'll choose one out of that out of those three's affixes and then um and then you can you can do it again for each inspired you have so it, it's not mutually exclusive with other inspired so sometimes people ask why do you have so many so uh in, inspire learning one two and three on most of my characters it's because it can steal the same affix from the same monster so if a monster has like splitting resist and uh and then i don't know like some some garbage uh accuracy uh thing right well if you steal the splitting, you can technically steal that like three times with your three inspires, right? Whereas Hunter takes everything, which is so it's overall good. The, the inspire learnings stacks it up to ridiculous heights. And this, this also works very well with the ES gain and the life gain and things like that. So uh, once again, I'm going to do th uh, I'm going to do four maps here. The first one is Headhunter with no inspired learning and no beyond on a toxic sewer, right? The second map you're going to see is going to be a Headhunter with um, a beyond on the map and i put it back in my inspired learning so you add an extra layer of juice okay single beyond the third map is going to be going full juice um self curse temporal chains to extend all the buffs so you never really lose them if you have a fast map and it's also going to have the um 
it's also going to have the full-blown you know inspired learning and double beyond okay and you'll see how crazy it is the things to note in here is i want you guys to take a look at the top of the screen where the buffs are right around here the nemesis buff is a stacking buff it um it is a kind of an orange icon you'll, you'll see it very easily um and what will happen it starts at 20 seconds by the way and what will happen is you're going to see how many you stack up at each level right you'll see how kind of terrible it is because you can't really keep many buffs up without beyond or like double beyond and then and when you transition to self curse temp chains double beyond where there's a lot of rares and you can keep it on your character you'll you'll just see like you'll see the progression of how crazy it is and you'll see that single like just getting a headhunter um and then just playing your regular maps isn't that great and then to highlight this um like i said it's actually everything stacking on top of each other right it's it's the build it's the skill trees it's the inspired learnings it's the it's the map it's the beyond it's the double beyond and map choice is also very important because if you run a map that doesn't spawn beyonds easily, it is complete garbage too, okay? What do I mean by that? So Toxic Sewer, everything's clustered together. The way that beyond procs is that when you kill a monster with beyond on the map, there is a percentage chance that a portal will spawn. If enough portals spawn, more monsters pop out, right? However, if you have a very open map, the portals have to be within proximity of each other. They can't be super far away, okay? Or else no monster will spawn. And so to highlight this point, I'm going to run a double beyonded Dessert Spring. Dessert Spring is has a lot of monsters. People, Some people like it because it drops like a lot of maps in the boss phasing and stuff like that. But I'm going to show you how terrible a double beyonded uh, self curse Temp Chains uh, inspired learning build is in that map and why map choice is also so important to headhunter and uh okay so i'm not gonna talk anymore i'm just gonna i'm gonna connect the videos in the video editor uh and if you guys um if you guys want to watch me uh i'm live every day on uh on on the twitch so you can watch me at 8 30 every day uh chicago time okay Sane, Exile.
I'm not up to that just yet. 